So where am I today? I have travelled from Derbyshire in the middle of England to Warwickshire. Why am I in Warwickshire? I don't know. But I was headed back down south and I've essentially come from Laura Whitworth's house in Derbyshire which was amazing and I loved meeting her and I got to um, got to hang out with her and her husband uh, they made me amazing food I got to have a delicious traditional roast dinner of chicken and Yorkshire puddings and all the trimmings and everything and then we went out for a pub a traditional English pub dinner amazing dinner and got to hang out and talk about all sorts of stuff we recorded a video I'm not sure if I've put it up yet but here I am in Warwickshire home of Shakespeare apparently or Shakespeare County they call it Derbyshire is Jane Austen country I was in the Lake District near where Wordsworth was so this is a very literary adventure and it's a foodie adventure and here I am in Leamington Spa have you ever heard of that? Leamington Spa. So this place, let's just show you this. The, this is the place I'm going to. This place here. Looking very Tartarian, but possibly not built in that era. Who knows? It could be just made up. It could be Victorian. It could not be Victorian. Who knows when it was built? I can't really show you the street. But there is a pump house here somewhere, which means that's Roman baths, which means possibly waterways of some kind used for Tartarian stuff but I'm here to shove food in my pie hole that's what I'm here to do I'm going to have afternoon tea and I'm going to show you the food that I shove in my pie hole this pie hole not the one down below okay by the way kids get out of the room I possibly could swear and say some double entendre Okay, so this is the place I'm at, Whittles at Binswood in Warwickshire. If you're in Warwickshire, hi, you missed me. Look at that. It's quickly beautiful. I can't wait to show you inside. Look at this loveliness. Ooh, interesting. Lovely little library in there. Gorgeous. I'll show you inside. I'm in the loo. This is the loo, nice loo, uh, because it's very nice in here. And um, I walked in and they were all like, hello, can we help you? <laughs> I was like, yes, I have a booking for afternoon tea. Oh yes, come, come. So it's a bit like that, you know. Remember they think I'm a posh bird, and I'm gonna have a posh nosh in there after I pee. And then I'll show you the food. So this is where I'm sitting. I'll just show you the beautiful surroundings. It's gorgeous. I don't want to film these ladies who are having a private time, but that's pretty much the room. Gorgeous, huh? There's some there's a lighting. And uh, I can't wait to order because so I'm gonna order everything. Would you look at this? Would you look at this, ladies and gentlemen? So I've got a pot of Darjeeling tea, which I don't have with milk. They did give me more milk. I, I don't think this one needs milk. And I've got, where do I start? Where do I begin? We have pork pie. So I've got the savory, the savory uh, afternoon tea. Pork pie, a quiche, uh, non-alcoholic ginger beer. This is bacon jam. I kid you not. I shit thee nay. Bacon jam with cheese scones. So these are a savory cheese scones. Sausage roll. Oh my absolute fucking favorite. Oh my god, I'm doing the Cornish accent again. Scotch egg. This is one of my favourite things to make and eat. That's going in my pie hole very soon. That's a quiche and some selected sandwiches. And then we've got, I've asked for a cream tea on the side. So cream tea is traditionally scones with clotted cream 
and a strawberry jam and of course strawberries well we know what's going to happen with these two right they're married they're happening right so i did ask for permission i did ask if i could um film this this disaster me eating what do i begin with first now listen i've fasted all day all day i had huge meals yesterday and, I, and laura kept offering me all this wonderful breakfast and stuff and i was just like no no, no. i'm gonna go have afternoon tea somewhere and i'm so glad i came here this is a really beautiful place so i've got pork pie so it's always traditionally served cold which one do i go for? i'm like do i have the pork pie first what i might do i'm just gonna show I'm going to eat it, um, I'm just going to eat it as is, usually I would usually I would eat pork pie with like a chutney of some kind, actually you know what, I might get this bacon jam, vegetarians look away now, I'm going to have, this is what I'm going to do, I'll put a little bit of the bacon jam on my plate, and then I'm gonna have this, this. It's nice and warm, cheese scones. Mm -hmm. and that's happening. Look. Cheese scone. I'm looking at, I have a sheepish look on my face because I'm like, mm, yeah, that's happening. Right, I'm doing the cheese scone first and we're putting the bacon jam on top. There's very dignified, posh people here. And they're all like, oh, James, how long have you been here for? And he's like, oh, ma'am, I've been here very long. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, just can I have some food shoving my cob? Right, so here's the cheese, cheesiness me yeah, I can feel it's coming <sighs> my nether regions are twitching in anticipation mm. <laughs> oh my <laughs> you know I've worked out what makes something delicious is when you put it in your mouth and there's a surprise and you're like, oh, I didn't expect that, Mr. Darcy. Oh my goodness. Mm. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, Mr. Darcy. I don't know what Mr. Darcy's putting in my mouth, but it's a surprise. So it's like a sweet chutney with bits of bacon in it. But then there's this savory, like a Worcestershire sauce smell kind of I think I'm pretty sure huh. so there's this smokiness from the bacon and the bacon is definitely um, cooked and caramelized and then you've got caramelized onion so there's sweetness from the onion salty bacon there's chunky sort of hard bits of the bacon and then this mm. Mm. Oh my god just this is my new job fuck the truthers <laughs> fuck you qfs okay uh every time i say something embarrassing i look away it's because the waitress is looking at me mm. okay right i'm gonna put this away i'm gonna be conservative this time now, pork pie, I'd like a cold pork pie please to shove in my pie hole. Um, so, Americans, you, you probably don't know what a pork pie is, okay? So traditionally, it's this kind of high top, this is a tiny version of it, I'll show you the full version. <laughs> so I've just put it together for you. So it usually looks like that. And it's usually served cold and it's usually quite high and big. It's got a hard sort of short crust pastry on the outside and a cold kind of mixture of um, uh, pork and I don't know if they usually put bacon in it but it's usually like a cold 
minced or ground pork and they usually typically would serve it with I think some people might have it with mustard I'm not sure or um, some kind of a chutney or something but I'm going to just try it on its own first so here we go pork pie bottoms up hmm hmm good it needs something it needs something it needs something it's not it's not complete they really should have put some kind of mustard or something to cut through that listen to me like this is my expertise let's have a sip of darjeeling this is probably not going to be as um, sexual as the last one I did because I have some dignified ladies watching me lovely mm. good cup now usually they've got they usually got their um, sugar cubes rather than separate sugar like you know granulated sugar right I'm gonna try the pork pie with the bacon jam let's try this come on babies I w I'm, I'm kind of thinking I wish I had the sweet traditional afternoon tea but I've decided to go with the savory for something different here we go mm -hmm. beautiful mm-hmm mm-hmm mm. mm. I hate it when they know when I'm filming and someone interrupts me. It's so annoying. But it's alright. That was good. The combination was good of that. Okay. I'll put that one away. Bacon jam, you're coming back soon. Hmm. Alright, I'll go with um the quiche. So this looks like it's a uh, just half a quiche. Everyone knows what a quiche is. This one looks like it's got feta cheese and sun-dried tomato in it. I'm going to be a savage in it with my hands. So, um, yep. Mm. It's good. This this feels like bad foreplay. I'll tell you why because it's like I'm, I'm eating this stuff going yeah I know I've got to get through this because I'm waiting for the big bang at the end and the big bang is this that's the big bang all right so um, I'm sort of suffering through this it's like yeah it's good it could be better they keep going that's what it feels like it's good it's good it's good if you're hungry mm. Mm -hmm. So embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna put you down for a bit. Right. Well, I'll keep eating this. Just give me one second. Right. I have um. Some nice water here. I wish the waiters would go away. So that I could um, keep shoving food in my gob, gob without being interrupted. You know, it's a bit like you know when you go to a restaurant and then you try and order and they take forever to come to you, and then once you've got the food, they just keep bothering. It's a bit like that. Right. So next one sausage roll Americans you don't know what this is so typically typically uh, these are very popular in Australia and England but and people make them all the time so it's sausage in a usually in a puff pastry of some kind so this is cold in Australia, usually you can have them. Usually, a lot of bakeries sell them. 
petrol station sell them and um, kids love them this is cold usually I'll have sausage drawers hot but usually we have them with like tomato sauce or ketchup so I'm going to try this one mm. Mm. Right, these two, these two are friends. The sausage roll and the pork pie seem to be friends. I've got food in my hair. They're friends. They, they are very similar. They're kind of cold and um, porky. Cold and porky. Cold and porky. Hmm. I can make many jokes with that. I think I really like. Do I have the other half of the scone? I think I'm going to try the other half of the scone. No, I'll try something new here. So, we have sandwiches. Hmm. Right. So, what I'm going to do. It looks like I've got a ham, ham sandwich with. Um, Looks like a red pesto or some kind or sun dried tomatoes. Let's try this. It's okay. I'm telling you, this is. If this, if this afternoon tea was a guy in bed, I'd be going, keep going. Keep going, buddy. You haven't hit the spot yet. Um, salmon, I think. With cream. Hmm. He's found the clitoris. That's, that's, a, that's a good thing. Oh no, hang on, it's fishy. really fishy salmon I suddenly I have I heard mrs. Slocum in my head saying oh my pussy um, right so let's try some of this ginger ginger uh, beer ginger something ginger something I don't know it's ginger something ginger beer ginger beer I think hmm Right, so we've had a fishy sandwich, an okay sandwich, a cold pork pie, and a cold sausage roll. And, um, and, but it's good, it's good. I'm hungry, I'll eat it. However, I must say, been to some service stations on the side of the of the highway that have better sausage rolls than that which is a bit sad I'll eat it because I'm hungry all right so far the best thing is this if I had a pot of this I'd be the size of Bloomington Spa Right, let's try the cheese. So, so far, I've got a... Um, of course, Mr. Pierce, of course you can come. Come toward me. Right, um, this is a, a grated cheese sandwich that reminds me of something from high school. We used to, they used to, I used to order every day for lunch a, a cheese and salad roll. And it was always this grated cheese that they had in the salad roll. So this looks like a ch grated cheese with the chutney of some kind. Or actually, that looks like Branston pickle, maybe, possibly. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. My God. Mm. 
can't go wrong with cheese and Branston pickle. If you're American or anywhere else and you don't know what that is, look it up. It's delicious. Cheese and Branston, Branston pickle, yes, absolutely. I think I need more of that. Mm. Mind you, as a kid, cheese and bread was probably my favourite thing in the world. So, if you want to please me, just buy me bread and cheese and I'll be happy. And maybe some really good butter. That's what they're missing. They should have butter on the side and some other condiments. Okay. Tea. I'll show you really quickly what the room looks like. But have a look over there. Can you see the big paintings? And behind me, it's quite posh. I didn't realise it was going to be posh. I thought it was going to be, you know, one of those things. Oh no, hang on. Sorry about that. Right, I really want to eat, finish eating this, but I don't want to bore you. But it's good. I, I really think these food reviews have to be sweet. So I, I might stop on the side of the road and order a lion bar or something. Or a, you know, Mars bar or something like that. Uh huh. I'm fine. It's good. Cheese, can't go wrong. Right. I'm going to tell you all the way here in my head I was singing um, Broadway musicals and then I'd break out into a Cornish accent for some reason and then I'd go into Irish and then I'd do Welsh and I'm just cracking up laughing and I'm thinking I can't record because I'm driving and if I'm holding a phone while I'm recording I'm in big trouble so um, hmm, do I try the other sandwich or do I have a scotch egg yes mummy well, you're having a scotch egg. Now listen, <clears throat> if you don't know what a scotch egg is, you haven't lived, and you've obviously not never had a really good picnic, my dream one day is to live in England, have a beautiful um, picnic with the one I love, and make him scotch eggs. And we can sit under an oak tree eating scotch eggs and reading Jane Austen or something like that. Right, you know what this is? It's a soft boiled egg wrapped in sausage with a crumb on the outside and then deep fried. My shit they nay. Does that not sound good? Do I do the dignified thing and eat it with a knife and fork or do I just shove it in my gob? Hmm, now this one's a funny colour because it's got chori chorito in it and um, right, I might just, I might do the dignified thing just in case James comes back or whatever his name is and says, excuse me ma'am, are you doing well? And I'll be like, oh, uh -huh. right, let's try this, here we go, oh, cheese, sorry, let's try this. No, I think this has to be just shoved in my gob as is. Now, there's the piece. Dawn French will be very pleased with me. Mmm. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm. I could do better. I could do better. It needs salt. Believe it or not, it's not salty enough. Um, you'd think with sausage and with chorito, it would be, um, or as the Aussies say, chorizo. Um, you'd think it would be salty enough, but it's not. It needs a little bit of salt, and I would probably add a little bit of pepper with that. Very good, very good. Very good. I'm going to shove it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. But you know what? This whole savoury thing is rather porky. James is back. I think his name is James. If it's not, it should be. 
James, bo James, old boy, get me a pot of tea, please. Um, oh, it's Daniel. It's Daniel. It looks like a Daniel. Daniel, did you go to Eton? Public, public school boy. Right. Daniel, I had such high hopes for you, and all you are is a waiter, waiter at Audley. I think Daniel's got an affected accent, and he's oh, well, hang on, I think. Oh my god, Daniel, Daniel heard me talking about him. He's probably going to spit in my food now. Oh god. Okay, poor Daniel. Daniel, come back, Daniel. I feel so sorry for him. I hate doing that. I will never do that again. I'm not talking about anyone anymore. Right. Egg sandwich. We need a cucumber sandwich in here. <coughs> oh, God. I'm burping. Okay, here we go. Egg sandwich. Mmm. Delightful. My daughter would like this. Again, salt. We need salt. Don't be afraid of salt. I think. Bacon jam on egg sandwich. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> it's delightful. Um, very good. Now, I don't want to overdo this. I want to do this bit by bit. I, I'm telling you, there's a... Bear with me. Bear with. She's croissant. Ah, uh, not croissant. This is... It's gone. Okay, the ladies are gone. The ladies are leaving. I'm going to be a little bit more conservative with my food and, and not eat the whole thing in front of you but I really do want to try this again this time with the little remnants of um, <coughs> cheese uh, not yet I haven't finished yeah, thank you so poor Daniel Daniel didn't come back I feel so sorry for Daniel right I'm going to have this. Oh! Not only did you fall over, you spilled the milk. So, I accidentally spilled the milk when the phone fell and I got really embarrassed and then I was waiting for the waitress to leave. <laughs> and poor Daniel, you heard me saying something bad about him. It wasn't bad, I just was using him as a character in a play. Daniel, here's to you Daniel. Mmm, see, bacon and cheese, you can't go wrong. It's really good. I'm sorry if I offended you. Mm -hmm. So, so good. All right. I think I'm going to try. You know what next? Oh my god. I just can't. All these waiters and waitresses. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Scone. Cream. Strawberry jam. Strawberries. 
There we go. New pot of strawberry jam. Lovely. So we've got two types of scones here. We've got a plain and one with currants or something in there. Raisins. Lovely. I'm gonna and these ones are dusted with. Now I hope these are better than the last ones I had at the hotel in ooh, in Grassmere. They opened very well. They're not as dense as the other ones I had. I've ruined all my cutlery with savoury stuff, but that's okay. <coughs> right. I'm going to do jam on the bottom on one of them. Jam on the bottom. And then I'm going to do cream. I'm going to use a clean spoon. Some good cream. That is good stuff. Oh my god. I'm gonna top it up, baby. Alright, here we go. Right, I'm gonna have a little background there. Check. This one's jam on the bottom with cream on top. Now, I think that's the way the Cornish do it. So let's try. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, here we go. Shove it in my pie hole. Oh. Oh. I think I want a bath of that cream and just jump in it and eat my way out. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, oh my god. I need more jam, but I'm being conservative because there's not enough jam. I need more jam. I need more jam. Oh, you know what? I'm going to shove strawberry. Remember when I said God exists when you eat strawberries and cream. Oh my God, please God. This clotted cream is a bit hard. What's up with that? It's almost like ice cream. Mm. Eyes roll back in the head. I want a bit more. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just being a real piggy. I'm being a piggy. I'm gonna eat this like a big pig. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> so sorry. Huh? Cool. <laughs> you know when the cream hits the back of your throat and it's like, oh god, that sounds so bad. It's like, oh my god, where have you been all my life? That's, that's what it just had that experience right then. I'm telling you, listen. You do a low carb diet, you can have cream every day of your life and you won't get fat. It's only when you add sugar that it's a problem. Did you know that? So, if you just had cream and savory things and no wheat or grains, or and you had very low carb and you know, just had the cream, and you'll lose weight. The unfortunate thing is, this is delicious and I like sugar. <laughs> So, you know, little piggy. Um, mm, very good. Right. I don't know that I'm going to finish all of this, but I do want to try this one with the currants. I'm not into scones with sultanas or raisins or whatever these are. I'm not into that. But we'll eat it. This time, let's do the Devonshire way. We'll, is it Devonshire? Um, I can't remember. We'll put the cream on the bottom. And then jam on top. This is what's left. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. I had to have a coffee. Because I'm headed back on the road and I'm going to shove these in my mouth. Beautiful, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Leaving Binswood Hall. 
Audley and uh, Daniel and I had a word with each other <laughs> and I thanked him for his service and I gave him a really lovely tip and he was very happy. Um, I felt so bad because I said, um, I think he caught me making a joke about his name. So, um, and he, I felt that he felt a bit, he was trying to avoid me and then after that I said, oh, thank you for your service, you were wonderful. So this is um, Leamington Spa. It sounds like it's a bit posh. I didn't realise, okay? I just thought maybe they all had... And it, it seemed like a bit of a country club in there. There was all these elderly people going, excuse me, do you need any help? And I just said, uh, yes, I'm just here for the afternoon tea. And uh, oh, Daniel will look after you. And it was really odd. The inside was gorgeous. Check this out. I'm starting to think I might be in a retirement village because it said Audley Village. Hmm. Anyway, Leamington Spa has some Tartarian stuff. So let's see if I can find it before I head back down south. This is going to be another long drive for me. Um, my car. There, over there. <laughs> I forgot what car I have. Can you see the lovely houses back here? So I'll get to you in a little while. But I just wanted to show you really quickly how gorgeous is that little... You see that behind me? Yeah, right there. Now my um, afternoon tea ended abruptly because they walked in and I wanted to do all these jokes and they were... I couldn't do the jokes because they were sitting there. <sighs> the waiters were, you know, calling people and it was quite loud and I just went really quiet and I thought I've got to end it here. So, I am stuffed to the brink. I didn't even finish all that food. Just what you saw me eat is what I ate. Um, little bits of pieces. I'm going to go find these pump rooms just so I can show you what it looks like. And, uh, and I'm heading... Oh, tummy hurts. Um, I'm heading back down south and it's going to take another three or so hours of driving. Okay. Oh, I can't find the pump rooms. I think I need to look at a map might help JC was this storm a place I don't know oh for fuck's sake now I've turned into a Yorkshire woman oh fuck's sake um I uh, wow what a lovely place have a look check it out can you see can you see trendy trendy hang on there we go have a look have a look Nice. Is that the pump roofs? That might be the train station. Now, please tell me. No, that's the town hall. Right. Tell me that's not Tartarian. That's really the town hall. We've got some little Victorian people making that. Did we really, did, do we really believe that? And the Regent Hotel. I think there was a reset in Regency era because we suddenly went from giant big Georgian style dresses to the Regency sort of empire line very narrow clothes and they want to tell us like it just happened overnight that's kind of like going from I don't know I just think that there was some kind of a reset right I'm gonna to have to do a little round trip check that out check that out can you see? Lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Um, Cotswold Company. Well, I didn't get to tell you guys, but I tried to go to the Cotswolds and it was a disaster. There were, it was a long weekend, uh, or end of the long weekend, and there were tourists everywhere and uh, nowhere to park and hedgerows everywhere and I could barely squeeze past all the cars because this is a, a hired car obviously um, fuck me uh, Jesus. I think um, yeah that was a disaster let's just put it that way uh, I, I just couldn't be bothered I thought I'm not scratching this car up and paying through the nose when I'm you know I don't want to argue with the rent the rental car company Listen to the music in the background. Right, I still don't know where the pump rooms are. I will find it. Thank you. Right, 
I will find you pump rooms wherever you are. I know you're here somewhere. Ooh, there's a phone box, an old phone box. I haven't seen one of them in ages. Tavistock Street, no shit. Tavistock Street, that's a sign, is it? The White Horse, everywhere I've been, there's, there's been pubs called the White Horse. The White Horse. By the way, I don't know where I am. Might help if I look at a map, possibly. Covent Garden? No way. Where are you? Oh, sorry. Give me a second. There's a lot of traffic here. It says Covent Garden. Beauchamp Hill or Beecham Hill. Beecham is how the British people say it. Even though French it says Beauchamp. Um, right. You got the fancy, fancy schmancy buildings behind me. Still don't know where I am. <sighs> I'm starting to sound like a man, refusing to look at a map. No, oh, no, I know the way. Um, right, not there. We're going straight. Sorry. <laughs> going straight. Now, I just need to find that street that said something beginning with D. Why don't they have a big sign that says pump rooms this way? Is that it? Could that be it? No, that's Regent Street. Sorry. I'm saying sorry to the Audi behind me. I'm telling you, I missed this. Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Portland Place East. Is that it? Dormer Place. Oh, for fuck's sake. I missed it. Damn you. Damn you, JC. Just do it properly the first time. That's what she said. Okay. It was just, this is the comedy hour that is, you know, my life. Um, right. Now listen, if you're watching this and you're going, Jason, put the phone down and stop recording because you're going to cause a crash. I'm not going to cause a crash. I promise you. Uh, my angels will protect me. Sorry, fella. I'm, oh, oh, oh. Blondie. Don't do that, Blondie. You and your stupid blondes. Sorry, I hate blondes. No, I don't. I'm kidding. Fucking blonde. Right. Dormer Place. We're heading there. Because I know, I know there's a pump room there. It sounds like a sex club. It could very well be a Tartarian sex club. Not quite sure why... <laughs> What they do in Tartarian sex clubs, maybe they have ether powered vibrators. Vibrators. Well, yeah. Right. Where are you, pump rooms? Hello. Are you here? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my word. What is that? Sorry about my accent. It's just all over the joint. Hey, I think I. Did I not just come past here? I so thought I was in the right place. Fuck me. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going out here. Bye. I'm going to go on foot and I find these fucking pump rooms. Wherever the fuck they are. And I'm going to I'm going to just find one. And I'm going to go there. Ah, we might be in the park somewhere. Right, I'm going to go by on foot. I don't have much time because the sun's going to set. I've got a long way to drive. I will be back. Okay, I was so near yet so far. I had just done, made a wrong turn the last time. And uh, I'm supposed to, instead of going left, I'm supposed to go right. This is good because I can just walk here, so... We've got the royal pump rooms. What makes it royal? 
it's kind of weird here. I can't quite work it out. There's, um, you've got buildings, got buildings like that, and then you've got buildings like that. What's that about? And then you've got Tartarian stuff spliced in, in between. Or some people would say it's actually Regency. Whatever it is. It's a bit unusual. Here we are. I can see something in the ahead that looks like a building that was built quite some time ago. I must tell you, listen, you've got to understand how brave I am filming alone in a strange city with lots of people walking around thinking I'm a knob. Um, talking to myself, essentially, and saying weird things. So this says, welcome to Pump Room Gardens, where we have our Tartarian sex toys. Very good. So this is the Royal Pump Room, supposedly 1814. I don't think they were built in 1814, but then again, who knows? You see them there? Right. It says they were opened in 1814 after the reset when the small agricultural village of Leamington Priors was fast growing into a major spa resort. The building is now home to Leamington Spa Art Gallery and Museum. So, there appears to be Roman baths here, apparently. Why would it suddenly be a spa resort? Leftover from another civilization, possibly. Wow, look at those trees. See, Jesus, do you not see the anachronisms here? It's kind of like you've got that, and then you've got that down there. It's like everything's like kind of out of place. It doesn't make sense. It's like a hodgepodge of various architecture and different feelings. I don't quite know what I feel here. I'm here and I'm going, what am I doing here? I can't work it out. You know how you can kind of get a vibe? I can't get a vibe. It's weird. It's like worlds collide. That's what it feels like here. It's like, we don't know what we are. That's the feeling I'm getting. Look, even the trees don't know what they're doing. Look at all the different trees. We've got this old guy here. Check that old guy out there. And we've got this little one here. Got a little fir tree there, got another big fat one over there, got a bendy one. Sounds like an orgy. Right. It's just a mixture of stuff. And here we are. The Royal Pump Rooms. I came 12,000 miles for this. Let's have a look. Yay, I'm going to walk off those scones and the clotted cream. So, this is what it looks like. Lovely. And there's a, there's a cathedral with, again, see that angle? You see the cathedral, you see the little turret things, um, and that angle is 76 point whatever degrees. That's the Russian Pyramid. Yeah. Ooh, I feel like a hot dog. Um, right. And from the old world, the oldie world, we have a unicorn and a lion up there. Can you see them? I still think they're from the other realm. They existed. I know lions exist, I mean unicorns. Right, let's have a think. What do you think, fellas? Do you think this was built in 1814? Or it says opened in 1814? See how they get around it? They probably just replaced the tiles. Who knows? I don't know. 
but what is the pump room? What does that mean? What are they pumping? Could be 1814, I don't know. I'm still not sure. Is it older? Is it newer? I can't work it out. This whole the energy look just look at the look at all the different buildings. I can't work it out. If you're from Warwickshire or if you're American, Warwickshire Americans. You need to learn how to pronounce things in English. Uh, right, we've got a canal of some kind. It, again, I get this weird... It's just like bath. There's like this suffocating feeling here. Could be because it's a tad warm, but <laughs> there is this suffocating feeling. Like... I feel like... It's like when I was in Washington DC years ago, I felt this weird feeling. It's like everything's all over the place. Right. So have a look, there's some pretty water. Right. I think I'm done. <laughs> That's it. That's why I came here. Um, I came all this way for some pump rooms and I got disappointed. Yeah, so you've got... Hello, puppy. <laughs> right, so it looks like... I think I understand. There's this posh part of town, and then you've got the... heroin addict part of town. <laughs> there is, there is a tad of that going on here. And not... No judgement. But we've got a bit of a heroin addict thing going on here. Or meth, methamphetamine thing going on. Because we've got people with no teeth walking around. So this is a bit of an interesting hodgepodge. I love... Thank you. Um, I love the fact that you see that bus, it says Coventry. My sister and I used to always have this thing about Coventry. It was kind of weird. Or another heroin addict, by the way. Um, this is weird. Mind you, Sydney's got lots of places like this where you're like, oh, nice architecture, ooh, bum on the street. It's kind of weird. So, Coventry, whenever we'd give someone the silent treatment, we'd say they were in Coventry. You've got to ask my sister what that means. I just did whatever she said. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay. I think we're done. I'm full of um, clotted cream and scones and pork pies and scotch eggs that needed salt and um, burping a lot. Maybe Daniel gave me the evil eye while I was eating. He probably said, oh, that bitch. She made fun of me. It just reminds me of my public school boy days. Right. Yep, there we go. Another, another junkie. <laughs> Fountain. Park. Off to another location. Yeah, yeah, come on. Not sure. There we go. Alright. I can't look out their accents yet. Because I've heard some, a posh guy and a posh bunch of people in the, uh, I don't think I belong here and I'm going to have to hide my handbag. There's a lot of um, toothless people here. Right. Warwick. I don't know who Warwick is, but he's got a shire. Or if you're American... Warwickshire. I will give, I'll do a live Q&A one day, I'll bring on an American and I'll say, how do you pronounce this? 
and I'll hold up a bottle of Worcestershire sauce and let's see if they can pronounce it. If you can pronounce it, I'll give you 50 bucks properly. Yeah, I'm a little bit, um, the toothless people are scaring me because they're eyeing my handbag. And uh, we've got a few geezers and a few uh, council flat people. It's okay, it's all right. And then we've got this Georgian sort of style, Regency style buildings. I don't get it. I don't know what's happened. Got a lot of bums with stained shorts that are falling down. And um, I'm trying to hear the accents. I still haven't gotten a clear Warwickshire accent yet. So I passed Manchester and I passed um, Leicestershire when I came down here. And now. See, I still can't hear the accent. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's why my... Ah, see, I was picking up on it on the way here because my accent was all muddled. And I was doing all sorts of accents. This is interesting. Picking up on... Um, various things, various people. This hodgepodge of people here in Warwickshire. And... Um, got a fella behind me and I just passed some youths. I'm gonna be scary scary. That was a close one, I passed some youths. Now I always look at the number plates. This one says fuck me. Can you see that? It's like eee oh 22 fuck me <laughs> Okay I'm getting in the car. I don't care if I paid for an hour of parking. I'm out of here. Um, and I'm headed south.